peripheral goes up between the year 2030 and the year 2100. Half of it takes place in rural southeastern United States and half takes place in London. The characters live in two completely separate timelines but are joined by one event. Should I just put it on? Mm-hmm. Flynn is from this small town in North Carolina. She realizes that she's piloting a robot body in 2100 London. I haven't seen many shows that have done as good of a job of world building in different places in such a stark way. This sophisticated, technologically advanced society in London is contrasted with this backwater community in Planton, North Carolina. Even though Planton is in the near future, it's still in many respects a town trapped in time, in an older time, in a rural setting. Your skills and personality are being sadly wasted in this den of imbecility. And like it or not, this year is the only world that I've got. It's an incredible experience for Flynn to leave Planton, but she's trying to piece together what people in the future are keeping from her. Flynn's world is in danger. She has to fight in the future to save her past. People are, you know, coming to kill Flynn. Poor Bell, he's a piece of work. He's a very big part of the community of Clinton. He's kind of a charming criminal. Within London is a triumvirate. So you have the Russian kleptocracy, you have the Metropolitan Police, and you have the Research Institute. These power bases sort of bump up against each other. 